Hello, this is Michael Hole, and this presentation is part of my Washington State University EMBA Capstone A project. <clears throat> In this presentation, I am summarizing interviews with gurus regarding partnerships for my organizational wellness program project. I've learned that there are several potential partnerships within the wellness program, although not necessarily in the traditional business sense. I was only able to meet with three gurus this week. Seth Zerksner has asked that I not contact him for further interviews. He basically stated that he doesn't have any more time to support the project. I was also unable to connect with Deanne Whitehead. This has happened previously and I believe it will continue to be difficult to reach her. I did, however, get responses from Dr. Davenport, Jolene Zeta, and Leif Ferguson. It is clear that partnerships will be valuable for my project's success. Although the data shows that wellness programs can be successful on their own, developing key relationships will increase the referrals for service, which increases utilization and ROI for my wellness program. These relationships are not official business relationships, but rather a shared vision for patient health by Memorial Hospital and other providers. Building a relationship with our local accountable care organization, Signal Health, will likely set up future joint venture type partnerships that will lead to common contracts with insurance companies with incentives for preventative care that lead to reduced overall costs. Our success with Memorial's wellness program can be utilized to expand to community wellness that will be the basis for such contracts. I will work with Signal Health to utilize their expertise and data from my project as they are similarly motivated in the wellness data and success. But as mentioned initially, there will be no official business partnerships. For our wellness clinic, we will need to develop strong relationships with primary care providers. A wellness clinic can be viewed as competition by some, so we'll need to work with them to provide assurance that we are not attempting to replace their role as the customer's primary care provider. Our accountable care organization, Signal Health, has already begun educating primary care physicians on the concepts of reduced costs through preventative care. In these models, the value of primary care providers actually increases. This education and assistance from Signal Health will remove this potential barrier. The wellness clinic will routinely utilize lab, radiology, and pharmacy for services. We must partner with them to drive efficiencies to enhance the customer experience and minimize costs to the clinic services. Pharmacy will fill most medications, but will also provide pre-packed medications of commonly prescribed meds that can be dispensed directly to the patient from the clinic providers. This will further increase customer satisfaction while reducing labor costs. Medication Therapy Management Services, or MTM, will be greatly enhanced by partnerships. Primary care specialists, wellness clinic providers, and ER staff can all significantly contribute to increased customer utilization of the ser this service through referrals. Customers may be hesitant to see the value in this service, but recommendations from other providers will improve the trust of customers to utilize the service. These referral sources will also be valuable in identifying customers with medication management issues that can be improved through MTM services. In order to increase generic utilization, we must have partners that see the value in this initiative and have a willingness to consider and act upon recommendations from pharmacists to change from brand to generics. We must begin by removing all pharmaceutical representatives from the clinics. Studies have clearly shown that their presence in clinics leads to higher brand utilization. These reps also provide biased education to providers that may lead to unnecessary costs with brand use. In place, in place of the drug reps, pharmacists will provide academic detailing for clinics as the primary source for information and education for medications. We will also need to gather data from our health plan administrators to monitor our success in this area. In summary, there are two key takeaways from this week's interviews and research. One is that there will be no official business partnership, partnerships initially with my project, but also relationships are highly valuable. Signal Health will be pursuing these relationships and building a greater understanding of wellness in our community. We will leverage our partnership with Signal Health to help build these valuable relationships. Inclusion of partnership building must be a key component of my business plan. I found no need to pivot in terms of partnerships and will proceed to the next step of the feasibility study.